Hello, my name is Kara Warburton. I believe that you can achieve greater success in global markets if you just manage your content in the right way. Today I'll share a few of my ideas in this short presentation about managing content and I'll tell you why it matters for you. Basically, if you want to compete successfully in global markets, you have to do a good job of creating your content and also of translating it into the required languages. It's that simple, period. Creating good content and translating it well is not something extra, something that you can do without. There are no quick fixes, no shortcuts. And it's not fast, it's not easy, and it's not free. So once we swallow that difficult pill, we can get on with the task. How do you do a good job of creating and translating content? Well, I think there are three essential requirements. First, hire professionals, professional writers and professional translators. Second, learn about standards and use them. Third, there is good technology out there, so use it. Now, I'm going to say a few more words, first about standards and then about technology. There are two broad categories of standards that apply to content creation and translation. The first are quality standards for the actual writing and translation process. How to write clearly and consistently, what are the properties of a good translation, and so forth. The second are standards relating to the structure of content. These include markup languages such as DITA, or Darwin Information Typing Architecture, which is an authoring format produced by the OASIS technical or the OASIS standards body. Then there is TMX or Translation Memory Exchange for translation, and TBX or Term Base Exchange for lexical resources. Adhering to these standards helps to guarantee that your content will be compatible with various tools and will be usable in the future. Now let's move on to technology. There are tools out there that can help people to apply the standards I just mentioned. Tools for writers, tools for translators, and a third category of tools that can be used by both groups. Let me say a few words about each. Writers use a variety of tools such as web page templates, presentation software like PowerPoint, and so forth. But there is a kind of tool often called controlled authoring software, that can help writers adhere to rules of grammar, style, word usage, and even how to use XML markup properly. You can use such a tool to help apply quality standards during content creation. For translators, there is a kind of tool called Computer Assisted Translation, or CAT. This tool helps translators to find the best way to translate a sentence often by suggesting similar translations that were done in the past. On this screen, I've put the logos of a few of these CAT tools. The third and final type of tool is used for both authoring and translation. It provides suggestions on the right words to use. I call this tool a multilingual lexi lexical database. Most companies have experience using authoring and translation tools but many have not yet explored this third type, the lexical database, and it has huge potential. So let me say a few more words about it. And I should mention here that what you see on the screen as the lexical database is TermWeb, our flagship product. This is a specially designed software for managing lexical resources. Now let's start with a quick example. Suppose a software company develops a product line that is based on the so-called uh, concept of a hybrid cloud. Uh, it's using this for its networking framework. The hybrid nature of this networking option is an important marketing and branding concept. They need to use this term consistently and appropriately in all company materials and in all languages. Now here is a very simple screenshot taken from our flagship product TermWeb of an entry in a lexical database for this concept. The information can be much more elaborated, of course, but this screenshot shows at least the names of the concept, a definition, and even a picture. The system provides different views for different types of users, workflows for people who can contribute, and connectors to all the other tools for authoring and translation. Using a system like this, 
you can provide instant access to the information people need to meet the standards you want for your company. Now, companies that have not yet developed a lexical database often ask me why they need to. What is the business case? Well, I'll give you five good reasons. First, by producing global content that has a high quality at a very granular, granular level, your company has a strategic advantage in obtaining a strong global position. For example, you'll be able to produce and translate content more quickly, which helps to get your products to market more quickly. And by developing an in-house lexical database, your company will be more agile when it comes to negotiating with suppliers, choosing translation service providers, and adopting different tools in your production pipeline. A lexical database built on standards can plug into any tool. Second, you'll reduce costs, costs through increased operational efficiency in all stages of the content production and translation process. Your writers will know which terms and which words to use and how and where to use them. Marketing people will talk the same language as your tech writers. Your translators will know how to translate a particular word or expression. There will be fewer errors to fix and fewer changes to make. And finally, you'll be able to get more leverage, more value out of your existing content. You'll be able to reuse existing content in more places. Also take advantage of the so-called authoring memory in controlled authoring tools and translation memory in CAT tools. Simply speaking, content that is more consistent at the level of individual words is more productively used in these tools. And that can save you a lot of money. Now, we can't underestimate the importance of word usage in branding. We've all heard those horrible stories of when marketing messages are lost in translation. It might be funny to us sometimes, but not to the company affected, I'm sure. A lexical database is an essential tool for ensuring that your corporate and brand identity are strong and never put at risk. Your content will be clearer and easier to understand, which leads to greater customer engagement and retention. Fourth, communication in general will be better. It will be easier to translate which has huge ramifications if you're like most global companies and you need to translate a lot of content into multiple languages. Better content is also easier to optimize in search. A lexical database supports your search engine optimization or SEO strategy. And content that is easier to find leads to increased sales. And finally, if you don't manage your use of language, you expose your company to risks such as trade, trademark infringement, regulatory issues, and even liability in the event of product misuse or accidents caused by misinformation. There are quite a few famous examples where using the wrong word led a company uh, to incur very huge costs. But maybe these general statements aren't enough. Most executives who control budgets ask for real numbers. There is a cost in developing lexical database. So what is the net benefit in terms of dollars? Well, no worries. If you need this type of information, please contact me. I do have some real numbers and some good use cases that could help build a strong business case. In closing, let me say that managing content at the micro level through the use of a lexical database is an essential part of any successful global marketing strategy. If you think you can do without one, you're missing out on a great opportunity to see your global content really work for you. And on this note, I'd like to um, close this presentation. I have my email address uh, on the screen. I invite you to uh, visit our website, www.interverbumtech.com, where you can learn more about our flagship product, TermWeb, which is uh, precisely designed for the purposes that I explained in this presentation. Thank you, and have a very nice day.